Hi friends and good day. Hope you're all, all doing well. Welcome back to episode 13 of us playing Valheim together. And today I want to do a little bit of crafting and we need to gather some wood to improve our base situation just a little bit. Because right now I find we are lacking a just a tad. And I've just used all that nice stuff we've just gathered. So I need to go out and get more. But for the moment, things are looking up for us. So we're now on copper gear, uh, bronze gear. And our axe is now a level plus one. So it won't break as quickly as what it was. I don't want to throw this gear away. But yeah, uh, let's just make a little chest here. Yeah, and I cooked all that food that we have been gathering, so now I'm stocked up again on food. As you can see, it's all there. So let's head out. I'm going to take us to the north part of this area. See if we can get closer to the elder. And along the way, we're going to build another spawn point closer up there. But while I do it, I'm also going to be gathering... Did I bring, yeah, I did. I'm also going to be gathering lots of wood because I need to upgrade our base. I need to make like a storage area and I need to make a better kitchen because that cooking took forever. And I know I said that this wasn't going to be our forever home, but it's starting to shape up that way. My ideal spot would be to get a, a, a meadows next to our plains for the very reason uh, plains are more fun to live in it's a bit more of a challenge and not to mention like the the end game foods all require plain stuff I know if you're talking about magic then we need to go to the mistlands but if I can grow some plains food. Let's just smash whatever comes in front of me. So yeah. Uh, we need to look at start getting us a plains base going. Because I've now got a lot of seeds. But I haven't got the cultivator yet. That comes with the next boss. And that's why I want to start making my way towards him. And we're going to build a little outpost. Sorry that I'm doing this in nighttime, and as you can see, it gets quite dark here. I have not added contrast to the game. I want the game to feel as real as possible for my immersion. Hence the no portal rule. I'm embracing each challenge as I come across it. We haven't even made it that far away from our bases yet, so it should be interesting. Oh, 
That's very steep. Very berry trees. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, I'm just smashing everything that comes my way is because I don't want to get the cart stuck. And we do need to eventually make a road through there. Likelihood of me going through that same path we've just cleared is actually quite low. Okay, I need to get rid of the skeleton. He's going to do lots of damage to me. Drop the cart. Okay, where are these guys? There they are. There. Hey! Leave my stuff. Alone. Okay, uh, we're heading this way. You want to fight? Yeah, that's what you get. And I'm pulling a cart. I think these are still meadow trees as well, yeah. The one downside, the more you add to the cart, the heavier it gets, the uh, faster your stamina drained. Okay, so this is officially where we haven't been as yet. It's like the, the very border. So I'm not going to take the cart all the way with me to the place. We're going to do this. Boom. Drop it there. Chop some trees. Yeah, coming for me, coming for me, yeah. Oh, you're one star. Uh, let's not try to block that one. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Oh, another one. What are you guys all doing at you? Okay, we can take this wood that we've gathered along the way. Even though we need wood for storage. Oh, come on, let me be serious. Okay, so this is going to be our little hole in the ground. Oh, man. Uh, doesn't need to be fantastic because this is just a place for us to basically a spawn point. So 
So we need a bed. Crafting station with the roof. And there's a place very skew. Smash this one. We need more wood apparently. Okay. Let's get to grab some wood here. Yeah, I can now smash these harder trees. But I'm trying to save the durability of our axe. Should be more than enough. Uh, furniture, bed. Very snug little house here that we built. Maybe a bit too snug, but anyhow. Do I have stone? I've got one stone. No, oh, there's a stone right here. Okay, that should be enough. Make a fireplace. Nope, says I need more stone. Aha! See, there we go. So strong. So a nice little fireplace. Throw all the wood in there. Waste of wood. Put all that in there. And then sleep. Just so that we can get to the daytime and we can go further. So this is just a little outpost that we made. I'm actually going to write your outpost on the map. So that we remember for next time. There. No, let's not make it that one. Let's make it the fireplace. Outpost. See, I didn't need to do it there because we had the boss spawn right there. But this one's in the middle of nowhere. So let's go. Like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Could have just gone like a little bit further, and there's a house. But, oh well. Stuck up on our food, that's all good. We're not gonna use our weapon unnecessary. Because we still wanna gather quite a bit of wood. Still using normal wood arrows, yes, good. Any reason I brought these uh, flint arrows with me, I think they're yeah, flint head arrows, is because they were for taking up a chest space. Okay, so here's where the dark wood starts. I'm still calling it dark wood, even though it's black forest. I don't know why. I do want to go a little bit deeper in here. For the very reason I want tin. There's things killing each other here. Okay, 
Can be heading, still heading in the right direction. Trying to get the most direct path. Uh, haven't seen one of these in a while. Oh, great. Oh, there we go. Don't know what happened there. Okay, we've got a spawn point. Let's clear this so we can get that extra seed. I don't want to keep destroying all of them. I actually want to get... I want to make build around one, but I want it close to our new base. So. I don't get where. Keep our food. Okay, so we can run around here. That was our weight. I'm just watching my weight because we've got to run all the way back to this to our outpost, which we could have put over there. Sorry, in the right way. Yeah, we're like we're right here. Okay, so we officially know where, where this guy is now. There's another spawner. A little interesting fact about this boss: you can actually build such a nice base under his under his spawn. If you're playing by yourself, that is. If like your friends, they want to do him again, then I would not advise it. But if you just want to kill him once, you can actually build such a cool little base under his spawn. See, here is the spawn. And his ground is indestructible, so all you got to do is just go dig under it. Oh. Okay, so we made it to his camp. Oh, more seeds, more seeds, yes, carrot seeds. So when we are ready. We will come here, we'll build our base somewhere like over here. It's protected by a rock. Because he will kill us. I said that about the last one too, didn't I? But yeah. It wasn't such a bad run, we could have brought our cart through. But now we know where he is, we know how far he is. We know we don't need a boat to get here. Let's head back to our little outpost, gather a lot of wood, because remember that's also part of the plan for today. Before my weight is now almost kept. I'm 
is F, eh? Yeah. So it lowers your stamina drain. I kind of forgot that I had it. Five minutes to be able to run further. Yes, please. Any time. Because we don't have the weight effect, our stamina bar just builds up so quickly. Okay, so there's a little burial chamber. We're going to mark it over there. Bury. Yeah, they don't hurt as much as they were because I've now got. Check this guy's wasting my time. We do need to clear a few more of these, but we're not going to do that one today. But if we get a few more, then we can cook our metals faster. Oh, here's another one. Let's, okay, let's get my stamina up so I can mark this one. I know they're not exactly on point, but at least it gives me a direction of where to go. Okay, I don't actually want to run the same path I came in. I'm trying to open up the map for us. Come on. As some famous explorer said, I can't remember who. You don't discover new land by not losing sight of the shore. Quote from Civilizations, actually. Another one. Very. So now we've got three that we've discovered on this run anyway. Which will help us get a decent idea of where our resources are sitting that we need to come farm in a later stage. Look, here's another one. Uh, where am I? There. And there's a lot of copper here as well. But oh, Here's another one. So there's two right here. I'll mark the copper once I come back. Nope, oh, more seeds. Oh, I'm in trouble. That's a big skeleton. I was going to kill that one. Okay, wait. Ah, oh, nice, they're running back. Uh, the red one is either a one star or two star. Which I'm not quite equipped for. It's actually quite annoying that I built our base so close to pre existing structures. It's like literally right here. Even by the way I place the marker, it shows, oh, you're right here, buddy. Beehive. So the choice between an antler and a beehive. Definitely going for the beehive. Okay. We 
actually don't need all these trophies. Just getting some zombie I wouldn't keep, but not right now. We got bigger fish to fry. Let's get a bit grow some wood. Okay, we're going to quickly gather as much wood as I can until my weapon goes pop. Of course it's going to fall down there. See? What did I tell you? Oh, the other one really went down here. It's always good to actually, if you ever might to make an auto farm for wood, you have seen lots of videos about it on YouTube. Always good to actually grow your plants on a slope like this. When it comes to chopping it, you just push them down and they fall on top of each other. And I'm hitting he's gonna fall down. Watch. Whoop, bye bye. Just gonna see where to go. <laughs> Get we're taking quite a bit of damage, which is what I wanted. No, don't run away from me. There we go. Yeah. yeah, close to my weight. Well, we need more than 117, but it's a start. So nice of the, the log to take itself home for me. Okay, we're gonna get together this one and then we're gonna head back to base. Okay. We don't really need stone for the moment, but I'm contemplating it. Okay, let's head home. Uh, okay, we need to go this direction. And obviously, we'll pick up whatever I killed when it came in here. Am I running the right way? Totally not. This way. Good thing I have my axe, eh? Run up the hill. I'm heavy.
Oh, there go. It broke. That's what I didn't want. But we're going. We're going to march on through. We still got our trusty bow. The bow just can't clear our trees that are in my way. <laughs> Yeah, all these trees, man. But our base is like no trees left, and here there's like so many. I know it's because we haven't been here yet, but. Can you actually imagine people used to do this for a living in the olden days? Like, we just load our car, or we rent a truck and we transport stuff. But in the olden days, there were people that used to run around with wagons from town to town, selling their wares, transporting goods. You're so lucky I do not have stamina. They interfered with my deer hunt. Okay, got my stuff. Let's go through here. It looks clearer. Avoid the big log. Yay. Um, it's probably not a good idea. Yeah, like the people that used to literally go from town to town with their wares. Because they did obviously eventually have rows and stuff, but it's quite interesting. The challenges they must have faced getting stuck. Uh, if it rained, they're getting stuck in the mud with all the weight from their cart. Oh, we went so far over that we're now like further away from my house. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, what am I stuck on? Oh, a rock. try to get a, run away from him because I don't actually have stamina to fight him or weapons. I've got my bow but oh come on dear you Not damage my cart. Screw We are gonna fight. Oh, come on now, they've. Yeah, you guys are gonna die now. now I'm angry. I don't wanna lose my cart in the dark. Looks like I've lost my cart. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. It's annoying. Like I said, when we start this adventure, the likelihood of me being able to find the path we came in on would be quite difficult. Making a road seems like a good idea right now. But once we kill this boss, then it's, it's kind of pointless. Oh, there we go. There's our fireplace. Oh, I see it. We just remember there's a bit of a lake somewhere here. Dear. We need the hive for the upgrades. So yeah, we have now made it home safe. We've got quite a bit of wood in our cart. And some more tin. If it wasn't for that our little campfire, yeah, it would have been a different story. But I want to say thank you for watching. Uh, so, what, I think 13 I said it was? 12 or 13, I can't remember now. But thank you for watching all the same. I shall see everybody in the next episode. I'm going to offload the cart into our different chests. And depending how much wood we actually manage to bring home, I may start building in the next episode. Some home improvements. But thank you for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And I shall see you guys in the next one.